You're going to get in a van in the dark in the morning because some doctor told you it was the right medicine to get you to the finish line. You won't necessarily know if that is a true statement. When you get out of that van tomorrow, you will start taking that treatment. That treatment is different for every single one of us. That trail will treat every one of us differently tomorrow. You'll find different points on that trail where you doubt that it's the right thing for you. Keep going with it. Well, we were working on promotional campaigns for all of the meteorologists in the office, and we all had to pick a hobby of ours, basically. So the promotional campaign for me was actually called Trailblazing Meteorologist, as somebody who hikes and is, was on the trails. Probably about a month or so later, after it had been on the air, I got an email from the folks at Make-A-Wish South Carolina and said, hey, we've got a little something we call the Trailblaze Challenge. Might you be interested? I'm like, okay, what's that? It's a 28.3 it's a mile hike, but it's raising money for Make-A-Wish South Carolina. The actual hike itself, the big hike was November 4th, but the training hike started like it was July 22nd or thereabouts. So it was, it was a long period of hikes where every other week we'd go out to some park somewhere and hike the trail. That was kind of fun actually, being able to not only get out there and but you know get to meet a lot of people who were also working toward the exact same goal that we were which was to not only conquer the Trailblaze Challenge hike itself, but to do that fundraising. Why are we up here? We're up here to make some little guys that are fighting a lot harder than we did coming up the mountain today. We're up here to give them a chance to, to fight their own mountain and get over it and uh, keep going. We're here to make wishes come true. It's up and down, curves all over the place when you ask you. At one point you're doing great, next point you're in the hospital. Like in the hike, one point you're at the aid station happy, and next point you're five miles from the next aid station praying, where is it? And who was uh, Rob Lee? He was a he was a fascinating fascinating kid. He he was a wish kid or is a wish kid. Uh, 15 years old, uh, has cystic fibrosis. When he had his wish, he came to us, and before he even went on his trip, he said. Mom and Dad, they have been so great to me. I want to give back. What can we do to give back for all that they've done for me? Long term, it's tough for children with cystic fibrosis. He has been fighting this disease and he and his family have been going through this. The remarkable thing about Rob was he took part in the hike. He made the entire 28.3 mile journey. Feel your legs, feel the pain, feel the anger, feel everything you've got, and realize it does not compare this much to that child, honestly, round after round after round after round of chemo. They still get up the next day, they take that next step up that hill, no matter how ugly it is. And some of them, the reason behind that is, is because you guys put something wonderful at the top of that step. When you get a diagnosis like cystic fibrosis or, I mean, other chronic illnesses, you're basically in the dark. You don't know what is going to be, what the next day is going to be like, or what the coming weeks or months are going to be like. There was a new challenge right around the next bend. Whether it was something having to do with the trail itself, whether it was your legs are starting to tire out. We were down there when we started all this. That kind of mirrors what the Wish kids are going through because every day can present a new challenge for them. The corollary there is we're all in this together to try to push through. <laughs> to try to fight through those obstacles and come out the other side. You guys are building character, you guys are giving hope. If, if it was not for people, you know, that signed up to do this hike and that raised the money, because that's where it's at. I mean, it's, as a WISH parent, we can't thank people enough. Excellent job. This is giving them and their families a goal to reach. The mental aspect of recovery from whatever they're going through can be just as important as the physical aspect. And if they and their families know that there's something awaiting for them, that's going to lift their spirits. That's going to make them fight. Do good. Be safe. Thank you.
I mean, I wouldn't even say friends. Everybody is like family from this point on. It's just been the most amazing. I mean, to be in touch with everyone and each other, looking out for each other. I mean, that's family all day long. At the Trailblaze Challenge and what Make-A-Wish does with this event is the most amazing, one of the most amazing humbling events that we've ever been a part of. Good job, you're almost there. You are doing this. Yes, it's going to be difficult. But you know what? You know what the reason we're doing this is? If you like to make wishes come true, wave your hand. It's for these kids. One of our wish children. To make a wish, I love you guys. And they're going through things on a daily basis that are much more difficult than anything we're going to do on any of these training hikes, anything on the Trailblaze Challenge. Just go and walk, just walk. <laughs> don't look down, don't look up, just walk. <laughs>